all of that must be included in this report for context, and it must be gathered by the Attorney General to the extent the Attorney General didn't get this. With respect to Lindsay Boylan, I've spoken somewhat about this, um, but to the extent the New York State Assembly or any other government agency is going to rely on the Attorney General's report as they consider evidence, as they make their own determinations, it is incumbent upon the chief legal officer of our state uh, to include, first, a discussion about what communications took place between the Attorney General's office and Ms. Boylan's top political consultant in December 2020 after Mr. Ms. Boylan began tweeting about the governor and uh, harassment. It is critically important to understand what they were saying within the campaign and what the Attorney General's office was being told about that. Secondly, the report should include a discussion on why Ms. Boylan's communications consultant resigned in December 2020 after the tweets were done. And if the Attorney General did not interview that person, that should be in the report as well. We will also ask that the report include the, quote, threatening and, quote, jarring message that Ms. Boylan sent to Howard Zemsky to coerce him to change his story about what happened on a flight with the governor. That was not included in the report, and it certainly bears upon the credibility of that aspect of what Ms. Boylan's uh, saying. The public should know what that message sent, said, and certainly, as the governor's lawyer, I should know to the extent the report made findings. In addition, the report should also include, and it does not now, the circumstances surrounding Ms. Boylan's 2018 departure from her state employment. That became critical to all of the events that happened afterwards, and that has to be included in a report that's going to be fulsome and that people are going to look to and rely upon. And finally, the report must include specific testimony from witnesses that told the Attorney General's investigators why they didn't believe Ms. Boylan's allegations about sexual harassment in the governor's office uh, to be credible why they did not believe what she was saying. And I know of at least one witness that gave a very, very specific example. To the extent the report includes uh, a discussion of witnesses who found certain witnesses credible, it is incumbent that it be fulsome on the other side as well. That is a fair report, and that's a report that the public and the assembly can rely upon. The last um, piece of information I'll share with you today, and there will be more that is in our submission to the Attorney General, but that the report has to include uh, evidence that was favorable to the governor that the investigators were told about. On page 121 of the report, it states, and I quote, a number of former and current Executive Chamber staff, particularly the senior staff as well as state troopers on the protection detail, they denied having witnessed or experienced any conduct by the governor that could be characterized as sexual or otherwise inappropriate. And they interviewed the Attorney General's investigators, staff members who had worked for the governor for years and had contact with him on a daily basis. The report doesn't identify who the witnesses were, the number of witnesses that said this, and what they said, and what they had to say about key allegations, what they thought about the environment. And that is critical, which is why, again, I will ask for access to um, all of the informal interviews, which I would hope memos were made of those, as well as the transcripts. We expect to make a submission to the Assembly. Before I do that on behalf of the Governor, I will make this submission to the Attorney General's office asking that the report uh, be made fulsome, that it be made complete, and that the material omissions that were left out be put in. The public should be able to see this. 
and as should any government official that is looking at this case and trying un to understand the thoroughness of the investigation and the fairness and accuracy of the findings. So you can expect that uh, from me within the next week. I really appreciate your time today um, and thank you for your attention.